definitely. So we, we had sleet, we had light snow overnight, and it was a quick hitting system, and it's actually done right now, but we're still going to have to pay for it, I think, for that morning commute. Here's our radar the last three hours. We had a good batch of snow move through most of the metro, now over Lake Michigan, and look at the roads out there right now. You can see they're likely going to be snow covered. There could be some icy conditions, so please give yourself a little bit of extra time. It's 31 degrees right now, so anything that's wet out there is likely frozen. We have a west wind at about 8 miles an hour, and that'll pick up, I think, mid and late parts of this morning. And some of that snow that has fallen overnight will likely, I think, blow around a bit. It's 29 right now in Lake Geneva. Otherwise, all of us in the lower 30s this morning will probably warm back up at least into the upper 30s and lower 40s. We're not anticipating any more precipitation, at least for today. But our next system already starting to gather some steam over the Rockies. Another Alberta Clipper, and this thing is going to continue to track into the Dakotas and eventually into southeastern Wisconsin. So we have another round of snow. Bottom line, this is what we're looking at as we take a look at tonight and early parts of tomorrow. Snow moves in. It likely looks like the timing will be after midnight through about 10 a.m. on Saturday. Expect whiteout conditions, reduced visibilities, even some heavy snowfall, and those impacts will obviously create some problems traveling and some slippery roads. Let's time this out. That snow that first batch is done with. The rest of the day is going to be quiet. Take a look here. As we get around midnight tonight, this big swath and cluster of snowfall, and it looks like it could impact most of Wisconsin, especially here in southeast Wisconsin. Look at some of these heavier bands setting up shop by 530 tomorrow morning. That's probably when the heaviest stuff will take place around the metro and then everything starts to wind down. I think by 9 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, those winds will shift out of the north and could be somewhat gusty. So expect some really ugly driving conditions for tomorrow. Now snowfall is not going to be really high. In fact, we don't have any weather alerts out there, but still for mid November, two to three inches of snowfall. That's still doing pretty good, and I think that'll be from I-94 and north south of that will be a little less around the Wisconsin Illinois border. There could be around an inch of snowfall. We'll be watching that closely for you. 10 day forecast. We're at 40 today behind that system. Look at those temperatures falling again back in the 30s and we stay in the 30s for early next week. But hey, there is a warm up temperatures getting back in the low 40s and by Thanksgiving and Black Friday, we're back to about 46. Andy. All right.